Okay guys, so we're getting ready to head to Knox City, so we're getting prepped. So let me show you what's going on. What you doing? I'm mopping the floor. Oh, the floor, huh? Yes. Oh, it's all nice and clean in here. Yeah, it smells good too. Okay guys, one of my pre-travel uh, checks is the oil and the fluids. And uh, just you know, get a nice look at the engine in here, see what's going on. It's nice and clean, which is always pretty because it's a brand new engine. But everything looks good. Um, see any issues? I'm gonna go ahead and check the oil. So something pretty interesting to share with you. When we were in Ohio, we got a lot of bees, a lot of wasps that seem to have flown into the, um, seem to have flown in here, into the vents, but outside. And somehow, in some way, it seems that they've made their way in. So when I'm driving, you know, I'll see a, a lethargic wasp. So, I've sprayed down in here, so I'm hoping that's pretty much killed them, and I've sprayed outside as well. But I don't know how they're getting in, but I'm gonna have to figure that out because I'm gonna have to seal it up. Because I'm sure this isn't the last time we'll be dealing with bees. So, if you own a Class C, and you have issues with bees coming in your uh, vents into the windshield, let me know what you've done. So we're here at RV Debs and we're in doing a bonfire tonight. And so we've got Kat over here with Mark, her husband. Great. And marshmallows to roast. And then of course, here's my friend and our all of our friends, RV Debs. There she is. Hi everybody. RV Debs. Can you imagine how long have we known each other? Two and a half years. Been two Since and a half years. Since we've seen each other. We've known each other almost going to be three because three. we hung out together. Unbelievable. Yeah, Kathy feels yeah. the same way. And I got to hang out with him and eat Well, thank dinners. you guys. Well, I felt the same way about you guys, too. It's pretty neat, actually. And Mama Wags today got to go to church. Yep. Yes, I did. Yes. And uh, look if she's all bundled up like she's in Alaska. Okay guys, so I wanted to tie out this video and let you know that we did arrive last night in Knox City, as you can tell from the bonfire. It was wonderful to see RV Debs and to see Kat and Mark, um, her friends, and uh, to be here. The trip was a little bit harrowing because we had 18 to 20 mile an hour winds all the way to Knox City, so it was really rough. I was only able to drive about 55 miles an hour, so it took us close to eight hours to get here. But we did get here nonetheless, so everything went fine, and uh, we're, we're both recovering from the drive. 
Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Thanks to all my new subscribers. It's great to have you on the channel with me. If you like the video, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. I'm living in a small town in Texas where people smile and get to know your name. I never thought I'd ever want to live like this, but now I'm living in a small town in Texas. On Friday, we all dine at Bud's Place, cause we know most everybody there. I knew, even know the cop and the mayor too, and our waitress Angie's babies nearly do. Oh, I'm living in a small town in Texas, where people smile and get to know your name. I never thought I'd ever want to live like this, but now I'm living in a small town in Texas. Well, we don't have a signal, just a blinking light. McDonald's is an hour drive away. My friends thought I flipped out, and I'm here to say I flipped out in a small town in Texas.